you guys having a good time, yes? Yes. Yeah? All right. Well, you're going to have a better time this Friday because Central Michigan has just accepted an invitation to turn it back. Well, it's official. The Sun Bowl is on. I confirmed just minutes ago that Central Michigan will, in fact, play in the big game here set for New Year's Eve. And you just heard Bernie Olivas tell the crew there at Sun Bowl Association that it will be happening in a turn of events that can be called nothing short of a Christmas miracle. Let me set the scene for you. Just over 24 hours ago, Washington State arrived here. Then less than three hours later, Miami officially pulled out of the Sun Bowl due to rising COVID-19 cases. The Sun Bowl Association then jumped into action saying they were seeking a replacement and the Sun Bowl was not cancelled. Now we know Central Michigan will be sliding in to take Miami's spot. The team arrived in Tucson yesterday for the Arizona Bowl. This is a video of their arrival, arrival courtesy of KVOA in Tucson. They were set to play Boise State on New Year's Eve, but today Boise State pulled out of the Arizona Bowl due to rising COVID-19 cases within the team. Central Michigan will now make the four-ish hour trip and play in the Sun Bowl from Tucson here to El Paso. Executive Director of the Sun Bowl, Bernie Olivas, was in talks with Central Michigan, the MAC and the Arizona Bowl today to make this happen. This means the Sun Bowl managed to broker a deal with the MAC and also come to an agreement with the Arizona Bowl to release Central Michigan so they can play here in the Sun Bowl. On top of that, they also had to invite Central Michigan. But when you, when you look at this, it's no wonder they wanted to come here. We all know money talks, the payout per team for the Sun Bowl is roughly $2.3 million compared to $175,000 per team with the Arizona Bowl. Not only that, but the Sun Bowl will be broadcast nationally on CBS, while the Arizona Bowl will be on YouTube. Well, Washington State now has an opponent, but it's been a pretty rough 24 hours for them. And a picture really says a thousand words. With all of the uncertainty of the last 24 hours, it's tough to imagine how the team is staying focused. When I told them this morning, you know, we don't know what's going to happen, but let's go out there and work. They started celebrating. You know, they want to be out here together, and that's why we're fighting to hopefully uh, keep this season going. We're treating every day like we're uh, preparing for some team out there that's going to be lucky enough to play us, and uh, we'll be lucky enough to play them. So, you know, uh, today coming out in practice was just great. You know, it was great to run around with the team and uh, fly around with the, uh, the game. Already three bowl games have been cancelled this season, but thankfully the Sun Bowl will not be one of them. Speaking of COVID-19, with the CDC now saying that people only have to isolate for five days if they test positive for COVID-19, the NCAA now has the opportunity to change their protocols for the remainder of the bowl season. Meanwhile, the college football playoff games, the Cotton Bowl and the Orange Bowl are all still set to go ahead, although they will now be closed practices due to COVID-19. That's all for sports. We'll have more updates for you on ABC 7 at 10. But for now, let's send things over to Katie Frazier with your final forecast. Thank you, Rachel.